Hello guys, good day. Welcome back sa tutorial natin. So pag-usapan natin ngayon is about sa finding the maxima and minima of a curve. So if we are searching for the local uh, maxima and minima for a graph, we are basically looking for the highest or lowest points on the graph of the function, the particular uh, locality, or for a particular range of values of the symbolic variable. Uh, for, ex for a function, uh, y is equals the function of f of x, the points of the graph where the graph has zero slope are called stationary points. So, kapag yung points or yung graph has a zero slope, ito ay tinatawag na uh, stationary points. So, in other words, stationary points, yung first derivative niya is equals to zero. Yun. So, kapag i-derive natin yan, equate natin yung zero, so makukuha natin yung stationary points. So, to find the stationary points of a function, we differentiate, we need to set the derivative equal to zero and solve the equation. So, yun lang. So, kailan natin i-derive uh, ng once yung isang function para makuha natin yung stationary points. So, for example, uh, let us find the stationary points of a function uh, 2x cubed. Ito, i-paste ko lang yan. 2x cubed plus 2x squared minus 12x plus 17. So, yun. Delete ko lang yan. So, una, gagawin natin. So, the first step natin is, of course, yung symbols. Yung variable natin is x. Then, enter natin. Yung function natin, which is ito. So, instead of f of x, so let's say y na lang yung variable natin. Tapos ito, 2x cubed, so that is 2 times x cubed, so it should be res. Then, 3 times 2x, res 2 squared, minus 12 times x, then plus 17, then semicolon. Then, after that, so mag-insert tayo ng uh, additional command, which is uh, the percent, so the defining the function. The function, then enter natin. Oops, wait na. Okay, so try natin i-retype to. Uh, mukhang may problema. Retype natin. Okay. So, possibly dito tayo nagkamali. Retype natin yan. Minus. Okay, ito. Okay, yan. Okay, so. Enter natin ulit. So, yun. Okay na siya. Then, para ma-plot natin yung function, so, just type easy plot then yung function ng y of course then just enter. So, magpapap up yung graph. Kung mapapansin ninyo uh, yung MATLAB automatically nagpuproduce siya ng a curve depending on the function. So, mapapansin ninyo Ito yung ano natin, yung curve. Ito yun. Okay, pero hindi pa yan yung uh, hinahanap natin. Yung hinahanap natin is yung stationary points. Whereas, yung first derivative natin ng function should be equals to 0. Ang um, command na gagamitin natin is, so maglilet tayo ng uh, range. So, let's say from negative 2 to positive 2. So, let's input SM, SMS. 
SYMS, then the variable X, then of course yung function natin. Same din yung function natin. Copy lang, then paste natin, then enter. Then easy plot natin, easy plot, then the function of Y. So ngayon, i-input natin yung range. So, uh, tingnan ninyo, kapag range, dapat nakabracket siya. Okay, so negative 2, then comma, 2, then bracket, then parenthesis. Okay, then enter. So, magpuproduce si MATLAB ng new actually, hindi new uh, same din na graph, pero between sa range na in-input natin sa negative 2 and positive 2. So, ito na yun, yung graph natin. So, so yung sunod na gagawin natin, so, kukunin natin yung uh, first derivative nito. Okay, close ko muna ito. Uh, Mag-indulus ako ng, val uh, ng variable g. Let's say this is the derivative of the function of y. So, g dff of the function of y. Ah, sorry. The function of y. Then, enter. So, the derivative or the first derivative of 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 12x plus 17 is equals to 6 squared plus 6x minus 12. Then, uh, let us solve the derivative function g to get the values where it becomes 0. So, ito na yun. So, para makuha natin yan, magtulos tayo ng variable s. I uh, represent for the a solved function. So, type lang natin yung solve the function g. Then, enter. So, mapapansin ninyo dalawa yung uh, yung result natin which is negative 2 and positive 1. So, that is the critical points ng curve. So, disagree. This agrees with our plot. So, let us evaluate the function f at the critical points, x equals to 1 and negative 2, uh, we can substitute a value in a symbolic function by using the subs command. So, para makuha natin yung, yung value naman ng y, kasi ito, value pa lang yan ng x. So, para makuha natin yung value ng y, ng dalawang y, para maging points, so mag-introduce mag tayo the function ng SUBS. Ito, SUBS or the subs. So, una, subs natin. So, una natin yung unang y. Then, of course, yung one value. Or, pwede negative to. Pwede rin yan. Magkapalit. Then, sub. Uh, subs. Then, yung other value of y. Then, comma. Then, negative to. Okay. Then, after that, just enter. So, ma magiging or makakuha tayo ng sagot ng 10 and 37. So, ito yung equivalent ng y sa, with x equals to 1 tapos yung 37 when x equals to negative 2. Okay, so, therefore, the minimum and maximum values of the function uh, y equals to 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 2x plus 17 in the interval negative 2 and 2 are 10 and 37. So, ito yung sagot natin. 10 and 37. So, dyan mag-0 yung uh, first derivative natin or the slope of the curve. So, yun lang muna guys. Uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial. Thank you and God bless.